as a beginner virtual assistant email management is one task that you'll be are carrying out for your clients and you want to know how to effectively manage your client email as an individual you want to improve your productivity then you need to also learn how to manage your email so in this video i'm going to be walking you through how you can manage your email effectively to help you improve your productivity what is email management email management is a process by which you organize your email prioritize your email to help you improve your efficiency and also productivity why do you need email management you need email management because it helps you to be productive it helps you to uh, be focused on important tasks and remove distractions so without wasting time let me walk you through how you can easily manage your email look at how you can manage your email so i'm using gmail as my case study here okay so you are very familiar with how your gmail works you know you can have different interface depending on uh, what you set it to do okay so basically you have all the uh, your inbox your start message that's the message you make important if you start the message and you come here you can easily uh see all the start image right so you can also see um your sent image uh your sent email drafts and other things then labels okay so the uh, email section is divided into primary uh, promotion social and updates depending on your own you may not have this update and you may still have it okay and sometimes depending on your settings you may not even have it as this so for your email management the first thing you want to do is to uh, clear all unnecessary emails you know uh, subscription emails or emails that you really do not need okay so how do you delete your email there are two ways that i do this basically the first way is to search all the emails uh, by uh, their date so you can say before so 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 dates maybe um 2018 maybe 2018 for example so like old emails or you want to say before 2020 so like old emails that you are not going to be needing, you can delete them. So when you search by that, you click on select here. That helps you to select all the first 100 or 50, uh, the first page. Then you click on delete. It will ask and confirm if you really want to delete the emails. Then when you delete, that is done. So that is for the first method. The second method is to search by uh, the name of, especially if it is a subscription kind of um, email. So you want to, you know, the person you have subscribed to or the uh, newsletter you subscribe to. So you want to search by the name of the newsletter. So let me just use and find an example here. So I want to search by, uh, I want to search someone that I subscribe to their newsletter and probably I don't want to receive that um, newsletter again. Let's say I, I have one here, Alibaba. Okay, so I'm going to search. So every email that has this is going to come out. So now I don't want to see all this email. I want to delete all these emails, you know, from these people. So I can just select everything. So I have 100 on this page. So I'm just going to click on delete. and the first 100 is deleted. You can see 100 conversation moved to bin, okay? So I still have more, right? So I'll keep on until I am done deleting all the uh, emails from this very newsletter. So you can do that for every of the newsletter that you want to, um, you know, you want to delete their emails. And afterwards, you can go ahead and unsubscribe from such emails if you don't want to receive their emails again. So that is it about delete, deleting all the emails. You want to come to more here, then look for bin or trash. Then you can also go ahead and empty the bin because all your deleted emails come to your bin, right? And they are still taking space on your uh, email account. So you want to empty the bin so that you can have more you know, space on your uh on your email or your gmail account okay so this is even very necessary especially if you are if you are what is it called if you are uh having low storage on your gmail accounts okay so that is that with um deleting email look at how you can create quick replies so you want to 
you have um you know messages coming in into your inbox and some of these messages are like the same you know you receive a type of messages um frequently and you want to create a quick reply to you know quickly answer uh you know respond to that kind of email uh, you want to create, so it will be necessary for you to have an email template, a kind of quick response template. So to create a quick response template, you come to your compose, you know, just like you want to send a message to someone. So you 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 enter the uh, email address of the person you want to send the email to, or you know, just like a sample. Then you write your subject. So for this, I am going to say uh, something like payment acknowledgement, or it, it could be anything, you know just um, the heading that fits the response you want to create, all right? So you are going to now type in your, your message, right? And we type in your message here. Um, we acknowledge the receipt of your email. We will confirm and respond in 24 hours. So let's say uh, message, let's say message acknowledgement. All right. So let's say message acknowledgement. So we acknowledge the receipt of the email, we will confirm and, you know, respond in 24 hours, then thank you. You can see I already have my email signature here. I'm going to show you how I create this also in this um, email management um, video. So when you are done creating, you know, you know, typing your message and all that, then you come down to this three um, uh, button, this three dots here, you click on it. It has more option. Then you click on templates, you know, you select template and you, choose save draft as template then save as new template you can see that i'll take that again so you come to these three dots here you um navigate to template then you come down to save draft template then you say click on save as new template so when you save as new template you can see the new template here the title will be message acknowledgement and when you click on save your uh, response is saved so let's see how we can use this. So I'm going to close this um, uh, page now, interface now, then I'll click on compose again. Then I will just choose who I want to send my email to. Then I'll come to this dot, three dots here again. I'm going to choose template. Then I'm going to pick the template that we just created let to respond to the email, you know, like I want to respond to an email or send an email. So I'm just going to click on it. Then you will see it um, come out here. Then after that, I'm going to click on send. All right. And it's that's just it. So you don't need to um type it all the time. So if it is the same email you sent to uh clients or customers or your team members, so you want to have a template that can help you to send these recurrent emails uh very fast and save you a lot of time. You want to also do to manage your email is to create labels. You can see labels here, right? So these labels help you to organize your email into sections, categories. For example, orders that are coming in, orders that have been fulfilled, emails from um, team members, from work, emails from business, you know, like that, like that. So or subscription, payments, and all that. So you want to categorize them. Like I have some already here created. So to create a, uh, a label, you come here and click on this plus sign beside label, then it helps you to create your label. So you want to name your label as order. All right, then you click on create. So when you are done doing this, you can now uh, edit this label, just um, give it uh, a color that, you know, differentiated from the other ones. So for this, I want to put it for this, um, I'm using this green color. So now the next thing we need to do is to, to you know, move the emails that we want to be under this order to the uh, email. So now, so for you, now you want to select every, you know, emails that is in that, um, as you know, related to that. And when you select them all, you click on move to 
then you click on this on the uh, label you are moving them to. So when we go here now, we can see these emails already here under this place. Okay, you can see it here under the under uh the other label. All right. So that is it about um uh label creation. Then as the uh you know emails are coming in, you want to be uh you know taking them to you know where they are supposed to be you know in the right labels. Then for easy accessibility, you just come to where the emails are. Then you now you'll be able to click on it. All right. Move label, you can also remove the label, you can add more label. So let's go back to our inbox and try to add label. So label as, you click on this, then you click on apply. So you can see that, you can see that in front of it, you already have uh, the, the, the label. So there are, these are two ways by which you can label this. So after you have created your label, you can either move all your uh, emails to that label or you just label each of the emails. So that when you see them in your inbox, you can still be able to you know, uh, identify which is which. So let me show you again how you can label this. So you click select the email you want to label. Then you click on this three button, this three dots here. Then you click on, you select label as. You choose the label that you want to label, the, uh, you want to use. Then you click on apply and you will see the email being labeled. So this is how you can label all your emails so that at one glance, you can be able to know which um email is for which uh you know section or category so that is it about labeling your email let's create your email signature now email signature like you see in my let me show you when you want to compose your uh email you want to have your signature at the bottom so that every time you don't have to type your name and every other detail so you can add as much details as possible so this is how you can create your email signature you just come to well, you come to settings. So under settings, you click on all, see all settings. Then you come to, you come to general, the, the first, the very first um, section here to general, then you scroll down, like you scroll down, you will see uh, your signature here, signature section here, here, just here then you can create signatures. So you can create as many signatures as you want. So I have one already created here. You can edit also where you need to. So all you need to do is click on create new signature, name your signature. You name your signature. So after you name it, then you can now um, add every information you want to add. So I will add my name. Um, I can add my phone number, then my location. You can also add your title if you are, uh, if it is your uh, work, if it is your work um, email signature, you can add your title like um, director, uh, sales marketing officer or customer support, like that. You know, you can add your, title, you know, had your this thing. You can also add your email signature or picture or whatever. So all you need to do, so just when you are done with, when you are done with um, typing out the text, you come under. So if you have your, like your signature scanned out, you can add it. Uh, you can also add um, this, you can create a card, a card kind of signature, you, you, you understand. Okay, so I have my signature here. I select my signature. So I can, I'm going to add it into the email signature. So yeah, it's very big right now, but I'm going to reduce it to a smaller size. You can see, I just reduced it to a smaller size. So that is that. I think the signature should come before this. So I'm just going to move this down. So just 
play around with it, the signature. You come down, you come down. I haven't saved. You click on save changes. You come down and click on save change. Very important. So that should not be forgotten. So let's quickly go and check how we can um use our signature. So you can see the signature here. It's already here. So it replaces the one, the former one that was there. So so if you have many signature, you can you know, jog, you can toggle around, you know, changing it when you need to. But if you have just one, the, the the default one will just be there. So you type your image and you click on send. So that is it about adding email signature. I was talking about deleting emails earlier on. I talk about um unsubscribing from uh newsletters that you are receiving and you don't want to receive them again. So how do you go about that? You know, let's come to one of these um, emails. Let's say I want to unsubscribe for, from this email. All I need to do is to come down down the email. Just come down. You will see always the unsubscribe button is always, always at the down part of the email, like the last section of the email. So you will see, you know, it comes in different form. Like this one now said, I want to unsubscribe. So when I click on it, it will, you know, load another page and they probably ask a few questions. And then, uh, then you can now, Click on to unsubscribe. You can ask you why you want to unsubscribe from the newsletter and all that. At the end of the day, you will be able to unsubscribe from such and you won't receive their emails again. So if you have many of them like that and you don't want to receive their emails, so you can just go ahead and unsubscribe from such emails. I hope you've learned one or two things. What I want you to do now is to go ahead and organize your email in a way that helps you to become more productive, focused, and also improves your work efficiency let me know if you get value from this video remember to like drop your comment and also subscribe don't forget also to share this video with your friends i'll see you again in my next video